Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and uh, today I'm going to be talking about 7 boundaries to set when you are uh, your friends with your ex. So there are some situations, uh, maybe if you break up with someone, you can't just keep them away forever. Maybe let's say for instance, you, the two of you manage to have children, maybe let's say a kid maybe, or children maybe. You have several children uh, uh, with your partner and you end up uh, you ended up breaking up so in this case maybe you have to take care of the kids maybe the the two of you will have to take care of, take care of the kids so in such a situation you'll you not just keep your ex away forever or keep him keep, keep him, uh, him or her away completely but you have to you have just to to let him or her hang around for the sake of the kids. Or another example is that maybe let's say you are you have a business that you started. The business, uh, the business maybe it grew up uh, in a way that the, the brand of your business depends on the two of you. So in this situation, if one of you uh, maybe uh, leaves uh, leaves the business, then the business might end up failing because the brand might lose its popularity maybe in this case so in this case you just have to stay friends with your ex so uh, but if you are friends with your ex and you are in another relationship maybe then you have to set boundaries for you to protect your relationship so because uh, if you don't set boundaries your ex might ruin your relationship in one way or another so let me start talking about these seven boundaries that are be, uh, that I want you to set uh, when you are friends with your ex and, uh, and yet you are in a relationship. So this is an article that I published in my blog, Her Beauty. So you can, you can, uh, you can visit the article. I'll leave the link under the description so that you can find it anywhere. So I published this blog post in for July 14th, 2021, this year. So let's get right into it. So, uh, so the, uh, these are the boundaries to set when you are friends with your ex. So the first boundary, you should not allow your ex to get too close. Yeah, this is something that you shouldn't allow at all. Uh, the main reason why I'm saying this is that when you allow your ex to get too close to you, then there's a chance, there's a chance that you might end up doing things that you never expected. Because uh, the simple truth here is that the two of you still have that connection. And if this connection, in one way or another, uh, resurfaces again, uh, because feelings don't ever, they don't die completely. Feelings, they just, I think they just stay dormant. But some things can trigger them and they can resurface. When they resurface, then you might end up finding yourself cheating on your, on your personal with your ex. And uh, I wrote a blog post about that. And in this uh, article, you'll find the link there. Reason why guys cheat with their exes. This was, was about guys, not for ladies. But you can just find it there. So when you get too close to your ex, then you'll eventually uh, get fond of each other and you might end up cheating on your partner with your ex. This is something that you should, you should set a boundary. This boundary, if you set this boundary, then you'll, you'll keep on breaking the connection that you had between the two of you so that you can, you can protect your relationship in a better way while you continue your friendship in a way that doesn't affect your relationship or your partner at all. So let's get to the second point here. So you should not allow your ex to get in touch with you. Yeah, definitely this is something that you should avoid at all costs. We all know that uh, what touching can lead to, right? We know, we know when this happens, it can affect you very, very negatively. So you should, can affect you and your relationship very negatively. This is something you shouldn't allow. So this is something else you should never allow. Don't allow your ex to get in touch with you. We all know touching and caressing Caressing each other can lead to sex. This is event. So uh, you should only allow your partner to touch you, not your ex. So you have to remember that the two of you are not in relationship anymore, and you are in a new relationship with someone else. So uh, let's say, for instance, maybe you allow your partner to touch you in a in an appropriate manner, in a in a way that uh, uh, shows that the two of you are flirting, maybe. And let's say your partner finds out about that. How do you think your partner will react to that? So this is something that will affect the, uh, the two of you negatively and it will affect your relationship. So you should not allow your ex to get touchy with you. You should not allow that at all. 
So uh, another point that I'll be talking about here is you should not allow your ex to call you late at night. Yeah. So uh, this is something that you should do. Uh, when you do this, then you'll you'll uh, you'll show your ex that the, you have developed, and this is something that your ex doesn't own you anymore. So you shouldn't allow your ex to call you late at night. Yeah. You know what? The main reason why I'm saying this is that the moment you you allow your ex to call you late at night, and uh, maybe you used to do that when you are dating the two of you, but currently you are no longer dating because you are you broke up and you are in a new relationship, then this might affect you. So this might affect your relationship. So late night should be time for you with your bae, your with your girlfriend, with your boyfriend to make things exciting. This is not uh, the time for the two for your ex to keep on calling because the, the two of you are still friends. Uh, the matter of fact is that your partner won't be comfortable about it. So it will, it will be bad and your partner might get mad at that uh, because, of, because of you doing that thing, uh, maybe taking calls of your ex late at night, maybe allow him. First of all, you, should be, you shouldn't allow him or her to call you late at night after. If maybe he or she wants to talk about something, then let him or her uh, uh, find you during the day and make things clear between the two of you instead of calling you later at night. This is something that might affect uh, your relationship and it might end up your relationship. Because if your partner finds out that you are making calls with your ex later at night, what do you think? What is the first thing that you think uh, will come into your partner's mind? So let's let's say for instance, it's you and you find your uh, your partner taking calls, maybe talking with you. Uh, with his or her ex let us know what will you think about that oh that's a question you should answer yourself anyway let's get uh, the next point here you should not allow your ex to text you dirty and nasty texts yeah this is some this is something different guys uh so if the two of you broke up then the way you used to communicate with each other it should change eventually it has to change it has to change the main reason I'm saying this is that you guys are no longer dating. So the text that he or she used to send you, uh, to send you, uh, they should not be the same. Now, this uh, maybe if you want to talk, maybe you have to talk something, something professional, something not casual. Talk something in a way, uh, texts that the, that they don't show that the two of you maybe are still into each other. So you should not allow such kind of text. Maybe, but if your part, your ex keeps on texting you. Uh, maybe if, uh, keep on texting you dirty texts. Maybe uh, we we all know uh, we all know about sexting. Uh, maybe it's a, uh, sexting like that. You shouldn't allow that at all. Uh, that's it. You shouldn't allow that because uh, let's say if your partner finds out, maybe that you, you have been receiving this kind of text and you never uh, you never stopped your ex, or maybe you never blocked him or her. Then this it will eventually lead. To a conflict in that relationship and it might end up crushing. That's it. Another point here is that uh, you should not allow your ex to call you with romantic names. Yeah, this is some something that you shouldn't allow at all. You guys are not dating, so this is, this should be off the record. Maybe those cute names, those nicknames, those funny names that you used to call each other, they should now be deleted. They should not. Are you, are your ex, you shouldn't allow your ex to call you with those names because uh, when you, uh, you when you, you you continue using them, then your partner might think that the two of you are still into each other. And it's also and another another thing is that it might be very hard for the two of you to to break the bond that you you had between the two of you. Some of these uh, names might uh, might trigger some memories, and it will be hard to get over each other and this you, you might end up finding yourself breaking your relationship because of your ex so that's something very 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 bad so you shouldn't allow that at all let him uh, ho or let him or her call you with your real names let him call her with your real name so that this uh, that's how when you keep doing this calling with their real name then it will be breaking the bond that you had between the two of you and you want to be getting fun to uh, of each other in a way that might uh, might destroy your relationship. Okay, the sixth here, uh, the sixth boundary that, that you should set, uh, you should not allow your ex to, to spend 
a night with you. Why should you allow your ex to spend a night with you after all? Uh, you shouldn't allow that happen. Even if uh, your ex uh, maybe wants to, uh, maybe your ex ha uh, has nowhere to sleep, then it's unless it's something, it's, unless it's a matter of life and death, then in this case there's no problem. But you shouldn't allow him, him, him or her to spend a night with you, even if it's uh, the two of you will be talking, won't be doing uh, anything. But that isn't healthy at all. You might end up uh, uh, destroying your relationship because you, you might end up cheating. So let me read for you something here. So don't allow your ex to spend a night with you, uh, even if it's only talking. This is because this might trigger those old memories and you might find it hard to resist each other in darkness. Some things will happen, will have to happen even without expecting them to. Yeah, this is definitely true. So the two of you ha had a connection. This connection is buried deep down and it might be triggered if the two of you just are around each other late nights. The old, old memories, you know? Well, you know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, let's get to the last point here that I want to be talking about here. So you should not allow your ex to get too close to your partner. Yeah, definitely. This is something that you shouldn't allow. You have to remember that the two of you broke up. It might be on good terms, it might be on bad terms. But if the two of you broke up, and maybe let's say to an extent your ex still wants you, then this, then your ex can be very, can be a very dangerous person in your relationship, and he or she might end up uh, crashing your relationship into pieces if you are not that careful. So you shouldn't allow your ex to get too close to your partner. I know some of the people might say that you are too protective, you are overprotective, maybe let's say, and maybe say you are a bit jealous about that. But let, let them call you with those names that are jealous and overprotective, but in mm, some kind of way, you, are, you know what you are doing and you know that it's best for your relationship. In this way, then, uh, you'll have a very good chance at protecting your relationship. Let's say your ex still has, this, maybe let's say, let's say he or she has died with you because of how you broke up, because of what you did to him or she or she did to you, then uh, then he he or she might get in between the two of you and he he might uh, infiltrate your partner with some kind of words, some things that you might find uh, yourselves getting into conflict every now and then because of X. So you shouldn't allow that. You shouldn't allow your ex to get too close to your partner or you shouldn't allow your partner to get too close to your ex. This is, uh, this is the last boundary that I'll be talking about here. Yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like this video, then you don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I'll be coming with more videos like this, guys. So see you around, guys. Bye-bye.